What's on the Compte A plus exams, you ask? In the current versions, the 220-1201 and the 220-1202 exams, what you can expect to encounter on the exams is listed in the exam objectives published for each exam. Here's a look at the cover of the exam objectives for the 220-1201 exam. The exam objectives for both exams are available on CompTIA's website. Okay, but what are you actually required to know? That's what these publications can tell you. The first thing you should do is review the makeup for each exam. The first few pages of the exam objectives document provides you with information and guidelines about the exam and some recommendations for taking the exam. Here's a closer look at the domain section of this page. As you can see, this exam, the core one exam, is made up of five domains, mobile devices, networking, hardware, virtualization and cloud computing, and hardware and network troubleshooting. Each of the domains contains a certain percentage of questions on the exam. For example, the hardware domain contains 25% of the questions on the exam. There is 90 questions on the core one exam. So the hardware domain provides 18 of the 90 questions. Likewise, the hardware and network troubleshooting domain contributes 28% of the exam, which means you can expect about 25 questions on troubleshooting hardware and network issues. So you can also expect about 12 questions on mobile devices, about 20 questions on networking, and about 10 questions on virtualization and cloud computing, or thereabout. This next page shows an example of the detailed objectives for each domain. This one is from the mobile device domains. For each of the detailed objectives, the specific topic, devices, and concepts are listed. You should expect to encounter an exam question that covers one or more of the items listed for an objective. Each domain and its specific objectives are listed in detail in the exam objectives booklet, along with a list of acronyms that you may encounter on the exam and a list of equipment that might be referenced as well. But let's go back to your question about what is it that you're expected to know in order to pass the exams. On the CompTIA a Core 1 exam, the 220-1201, you should have knowledge and an understanding for the following items within each of the domains. For mobile device domains, be prepared for questions regarding monitoring mobile device hardware, using mobile devices, understanding the differences between mobile device accessories and connectivity options, configuring basic network connectivity, the procedures for mobile device management, MDM, and the functions of mobile apps. Questions from the networking domain will deal with a wide range of subjects, standards, hardware, and concepts related to local and wide area networks. The specific areas that you can expect to see on the Core 1 exam include TCP and UDP protocols and ports, wireless technologies, standards, and protocols, the various servers and services that can be implemented on a network, common network configuration approaches, the different types of network hardware and their functions, the configuration and function of a SOHO network, the common internet connectivity services and their characteristics, and last but certainly not least, networking test and monitoring tools. The hardware domain provides the largest share of questions on the Core 1 exam, and the questions cover the following topics. Video display devices and components, the various cabling types, connectors, and uses, the various types of RAM and their packaging, disk and SSD storage devices, including RAID and SAN, the motherboard, CPU, power supply, and expansion cards, and their interfaces, and of course, printers and multifunction devices. The virtualization and cloud computing domain represent only 11% of the exam questions and cover virtualization concepts, including virtual machines and hypervisors, and cloud computing concepts that include cloud services and delivery models and cloud service characteristics. The hardware and network troubleshooting domain covers a variety of troubleshooting topics, including the diagnosis and identification of problems and issues with RAM, 
CPUs and power supplies, storage devices and RAID configurations, video display and projector problems, mobile devices, network issues, and printer malfunctions. The Mike Myers books on the CompTIA A Plus certification and study guides and videos in this series of videos and simulations provide you with the information on each of the specific items in the core one exam domains. The questions on the exam are a mix of multiple choice and performance based questions. You are to select the best answer from the options on the multiple choice questions. The performance based questions require you to perform a task such as placing a list of steps in order or matching columns of terms with their corresponding definition or usage, such as matching cable types with their connectors. The performance is in what exam questions you will see are chosen. If you do well in a early performance based question, the next one you will see will be a higher difficulty level. I strongly suggest that you take as many practice exams as possible for both exams. You can find a variety of practice tests online. Use all you find to practice completing the test within the 90 minutes allowed with as many correct answers as possible. CompTIA A plus exams are scored differently than many of the tests you've taken in the past. The score range on the exams is 100 to 900 with a passing score of 675 which means you can get a few questions wrong, not that you would, and still pass. Well, best of luck to you with the exams. We are so very glad that we can help you prepare and pass. Let us be the first to congratulate you on your future certification.